sustainable, modifiable, and adaptable community building. One Community Weekly Progress Update, number 79. One Community is a 501c3 nonprofit organization. We are creating open source and free shared blueprints and resources, tools and tutorials, and do it yourself instructions for highest good living. Creating solution models that create additional solution creating models in the service of all life on this planet. This includes highest good approaches to food, energy, housing, education, for profit and non profit business creation, society, and true earth stewardship. We are creating all these things to be implementable as either individual components or as complete teacher demonstration villages and hubs. Welcome to the One Community Weekly Progress Update. My name is Jay Sable and I'm the Executive Director of the One Community 501c3 nonprofit organization. This is our weekly progress update number 79, September 5th, 2014 edition. As always, I'm going to be covering with pictures and video all of our team's accomplishments for the past week. And if you'd like to receive or if you'd like to read more details, if you'd like to see more pictures, if you'd like access to all of the open source content links, to all the details of everything that it is that uh, we've created and are creating, uh, visit our written blog. If you'd like to receive an email every time one of these updates comes out, you can also join our email and newsletter list. And you do that by sending email to One Community Updates at gmail.com and we'll add you to our list. Let's jump into the updates. One community's approach to highest good education is open source and free shared, designed for all age groups, adaptable to any schooling environment, inspiring and fun for all participants, a learner, teacher, collaborative, and it includes California state education standards. This week the core team, which consists of the satellite and pioneer members, finished another 30% of the Harmony lesson plan web page bringing us to 40% complete there. You can see this page here in the background. And uh, in addition to that, we also researched and added another huge group of resources to our open source and free shared online education resources archive, now numbering nearly 100 resources and including this graphic, uh, which we feel really does a beautiful job of describing why one community is creating open source lesson plans, like the Harmony lesson plan, and all the other all ages, all subjects, components of the highest good education program, purpose to put the power of an amazing education in the hands of parents and communities interested in implementing something like this. Uh, the reality the statistics, if you look at this graphic, are impressive. And uh, if you'd like to see this better, you can see this complete infographic in its entirety on our wet written blog or the free education resources page. One other completed action item uh, was the creation of a web design tutorial for those interested in helping us with the lesson plans for life component you'll see in just a moment. If you'd like to help with this education program, we are seeking people to finish these lesson plans. We've got them all outlined and we're just looking for the creative minds who would like to contribute something amazing to the educational world through our open source and free shared education program for all ages and all educational levels. One community's approach to highest good food is duplicable almost anywhere, scalable for different needs, more biodiverse and nutritious, part of forwarding a global open source botanical garden collaborative, and includes nine different free shared and duplicable growing environments. This week the core team finished adding the diversity details to the bitter melon section of the large scale gardening page where we featured the four you see here along with purchasing details, cultural considerations, and planting guidelines. We also added the achacha, also known as the Bolivian cucumber, to the website. In this area of our open source project, we are seeking permaculturalists, an irrigation specialist, a surveyor, and a chef to join our team as either consultants to the project or pioneers who will be moving onto the property with us. The one community approach to highest good housing is eco-artistic home building that is affordable, sustainable, do-it-yourself duplicable, resource and space efficient, and consists of seven different sustainably constructed village models. This week the core team working on highest good housing completed another 30% of the Earthbag Construction Footers, Foundation, and Flooring tutorial page you see here. This brings us to about 70% of the way complete with this page. The tools section is done, excavation section is done, the footer section is done, and the foundation section is done. 
And now all that remains is final editing and picture and video additions to the flooring and frequently asked question sections. This is all part of our developing crowdfunding campaign and the world image you see repeating is where we'll be adding extensive tutorial videos as part of that campaign. Related to this and behind the scenes, we've also finished the tools and initial outline of the electrical details page that will eventually look just like this one and that page is now 10% done. Also behind the scenes, we completed another 15% of the total energy infrastructure rollout details for off-grid community creation of 50 to 400 plus people, bringing us to 75% complete there. And uh, we also finished the measurements and parts details for the rest of the Murphy Bed Dome Home Furniture design, which you can see here. This picture is from our Google Docs in progress. It is truly just a tiny snapshot and fraction of the actual document, which is huge. Uh, taking the custom furniture designs of Philip Gill for the Earthbag Village domes and dome home crowdfunding campaign and preparing them all for complete do-it-yourself building and assembly instructions. In this area of the project, we are seeking a master plumber and a master electrician. If you or someone you know would like to help with this component of our open source creation process. One community is also creating an open source duplicable city center. It is designed to be LEED Platinum certified, provide 12 guest rooms, dining for over 150 people, and laundry and recreation space for over 300 people, all while saving money, time, space, and resources. This week the core team completed this additional 30 seconds of the Duplicable City Center 3D video. Now we are focusing on sharing the beautiful details of this structure to give people a perspective of what it will be like to use it. If you want to see this video in its entirety to this point, we also updated the complete Duplicable City Center open source hub with this video, our newly completed CAD floor plan, updated compliments of Carl Harris of KH Designs, and a sizable bunch of additions to the pages FAQ section. This updated page is how you can now access all the open source specifics for each section of this structure as it continues to develop, specifics intentionally designed for duplication as part of this structure or in as many cases as possible as independent open source resources and components. One example of this is another action item we made progress on this last week behind the scenes, uh, which is completing another 10% of the control systems research bringing us to 90% total completion of this exploration of all the software and hardware options available for monitoring, management, and automation of everything from energy and water to internet usage. We've shown pictures of this action item in the past weeks and hope to start creating the final and professional open source resource in the next couple of weeks. For this area of the project, we are seeking a structural engineer and a general contractor. The structural engineer is somebody that we're seeking to help us design the cupola so it can be built without a crane, which is very important for our open source goals and duplication anywhere in the world. And the general contractor is needed for assistance in conjunction and collaboration with P2S Engineering, who is helping us with the mechanical, electrical, and plumbing section of this structure. The one community approach to highest good society is globally focused, individually enriching, cooperative and collaborative, includes a highest good network and application, four different economic models, and combines fulfilled living and true earth stewardship for the benefit of all people and all life on this planet. This week the core team completely rewrote our Welcome to the Team page. The purpose of this page and rewrite, which you can see here, is being to even better clarify the expectations and desires of both one community and all our collaborative partners so that we can create massive win-win relationships as people join our team. This is all part of a major push our organization is completing to put in place the infrastructure necessary to more efficiently welcome and work with more and more people, which is a building process we're actively engaging like never before and expect to accelerate dramatically with our crowdfunding campaign. In this area of the project, we're seeking graphic designers, web designers, and technology specialists, videographers, and building a highest good legal team. If you or someone you know fits these descriptions and would like to join our highest good society creation process. Ultimately, what one community is open sourcing is sustainable, modifiable, and adaptable community building solutions. Putting all the components necessary, food, energy, housing, which is the physical sustainability elements, with the emotional sustainability elements of highest good education, uh, highest good economics, for-profit, non-profit business creation, recreation models, as well as true earth stewardship, open sourcing and free sharing all of these components to build complete 
teacher demonstration communities, villages, cities, and hubs to be built around the world to teach others how to build sustainably and to live self-sufficiently as well. Solution models that create additional solution-creating models. This is what we're up to. This is what we're doing. Everything you see us reporting on is we report on all the different sections, taking the highest good of all philosophy that is our core foundational philosophy, our operating software, and applying it to all aspects of life and open sourcing and free sharing the results of that so that they can be duplicated either individually or as the complete teacher demonstration hub model that one community will be as a prototype. And the most beautiful part about this is this community model is designed to specifically thrive and expand and evolve through the interaction of our global community. And by sharing what it is that we're doing, not only just sharing it as open source content, but by inviting people to come and visit, inviting people to come and participate, running an ecotourism model that is also open source and free shared. So everything that it is that we're creating, everything that we're doing, everything we put in tens of thousands of hours, the idea is to make it as easy and affordable to duplicate as possible and to demonstrate it with one community as attractive enough so that people will actually want to duplicate it. We say every week, if we make it easy enough, affordable enough, and attractive enough, catering to the very foundational needs of humanity, the aspects that make us most alive, the things that people want the most. Some, for some people, it's self-sufficiency. For some people, it's security. For some people, it's growth. For some people, it's contribution. For some people, it's deep, meaningful connections. Well, we've spent 15 years designing a model that specifically addresses all of those areas and puts all those areas together so that it's not just a teacher demonstration community, village, or city, but it's so it's specifically sustainable, adaptable, and modifiable so that other people's ideas can be integrated in the model as well. And then the whole open source aspect of what it is that we're creating is also open source. So we're not just open sourcing the village, we're open sourcing the process of open sourcing the village. We want to teach other people how to join the global collaborative, how to join the global cooperative, so that they can build sustainable, modifiable, and adaptable community solutions too, and contribute to what it is that we're creating. And then our marketing engine, our huge behemoth of a website that is designed to get people interested, it's designed to expose people to what it is that we're creating, we'll use that to help promote other projects also. So if people, other people don't have to cover those aspects, which in some cases are the most difficult. So if this sounds fun to you, if this sounds exciting to you, if this is something that you'd like to get involved in, we invite you to join us. We have lots of different ways to participate from becoming a pioneer member, which are the people that will actually move onto the one community property and build everything that is one community, to a satellite member, which are the people that don't intend to live at one community, but they want to participate in all of our back office details and our weekly calls and everything that is that we're doing. So they're just like pioneer members, only instead they may be building a community somewhere else or you just want to be involved at that level, to just participating as a partner or a consultant. The people that are donating their time to our project, that are bringing their expertise and saying, hey, I want to plug into this piece of your project. I have something that I can add. I have something that I can contribute. One community is taking the highest good of all consciousness. The idea of saying, okay, we can think globally. We can work towards a cooperative and collaborative solution that will positively and permanently transform this world for everybody. If we think that way, if we bring together other people that believe that this is a worthwhile venture too, other people that want to make a difference in the world also, other people with a consciousness for the highest good of all, if we come together as a team, we can create something that's never been seen before on this planet, but could be applicable literally to every single person's life in some way, shape, or form, and could be created in such a way that it's not only a solution model, but it's a solution creating model, a model that specifically creates additional solution creating models. Think about what that has the potential to do. Our goal is to build one community and help one community start two additional communities within the first year, and then four additional communities the year after that, and then eight additional communities the year after that. Each of us work, all of us working in collaboration to make it easier, to make it more affordable, to make it more attractive, to spread it and share it with even more people. And if you run that process of duplication out 20 years, 30 years, we can positively and permanently transform this world for everyone. We can create a sustainable civilization. We can take the technology and the knowledge that exists right now and apply them in ways that will positively impact the lives of every single person on this planet.
And the model is designed to put the money where the money is needed to direct people to want to build in Africa, to want to build in Thailand, to want to build in South America, to want to build in all these different places where the resources are needed most. But there's a huge labor force, there's a huge group of people that would want, that would want to participate and help out with this. This is why we talk about for the highest good of all. And we believe that this meets the needs of the 99%. We believe that it meets the needs of the 1%. We believe that it transcends ideology. We believe that it transcends politics. That there's a win here for everybody. So if you'd like to help, if you'd like to be a part of what it is that we're doing, join us. Or, of course, you know, we're looking for large-scale funding. To our knowledge, there's nobody in the world doing anything like it is, like what it is that we're doing. There are open source organizations that are doing amazing things. There are definitely world visions that match the world vision that we have of creating a sustainable and self-sufficient society. But to our knowledge, there's nobody that's putting these things together and specifically open source project launch blueprinting it all, designing it so that it can specifically be adapted and modified to meet the needs, the diverse needs, of anybody who wants to engage this process with us. We don't know of anybody that's doing that. So if you're a connector, if you're somebody who knows people, if you're somebody who has the resources to fund us, we are creating something unique. Just look at our application process for joining our core team. The requirements of who it is that we're bringing together to be a part of this team to create this with us. We've crossed our T's and we're dotting our I's and we are attending to every little detail to make absolutely sure that we will be successful. And the next big step is for somebody to help us get the property off the market. That's really it. If we could get the property off the market, we could increase our team exponentially. We, it, would, it, would, it would allow us to share that location and help all the people that contact us asking where it is that we can't share because we haven't taken off the market. It would allow us to share that information, build our team exponentially. It would allow us to take our open source creative process to the next level, multiplying it 10 times, 100 times, 1,000 times as we build our team and just continue this crazy momentum that we have moving forward even faster. And of course, I always like to say thank you to everybody who donates the little donations because those are the things that allow us to keep our website running and pay our basic expenses. None of our team is paid. We are a 100% volunteer team. So little donations make a huge difference in what it is that we're creating. So and last but not least, I like to say thank you to everybody that shares our information. So sharing our information is the key to getting it out. And we believe that there are literally thousands of people on this planet with the resources and the desire to fund a project like ours, to, to, that see a project like ours and want to see it happen. They just don't know we exist. So to help facilitate the process of getting the open source blueprints in the hands of everybody that needs it, to help facilitate the process of sharing what it is with the people that would love to fund a project like ours, that would be so excited to see something as comprehensive, something so sustainable, modifiable, and adaptable, capable of building teacher demonstration communities and villages and hubs anywhere in the world. To facilitate the process of getting this information in the hands of the people that want it most, we are on all of the social media networks. We are on LinkedIn. We are on Twitter. We are on Reddit. We are on Facebook. We are on Pinterest. We are on Tumblr. We're on all the different social media networks to make it as easy as possible for people to share what it is. And so if you're one of those people that shares our information, we want to say thank you because we wouldn't exist if people weren't sharing our information. We wouldn't have been able to build a global team, the global team that we have right now of amazing experts working on this project if it weren't for people like you sharing this information, if it weren't for the people that, that subscribe to our blog, if it weren't for the people that subscribe to our YouTube channel. So if you haven't already, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Send us an email to onecommunityupdates at gmail.com and we will put you on our email newsletter. And every time one of these updates comes out, we'll send you an email and just say, hey, our most recent update is out. So you can forward that to people you might know that you think might be interested too. So with that, we will continue sustainable, modifiable, and adaptable community building. We are creating it. We are getting it done. We invite you to join us. And, of course, we say thank you for all the wonderful emails. Thank you for following our progress. Thank you for everybody uh, that is interested in our project. And uh, until next week, we will, of course, keep on keeping on. Thank you.